guys? We are going to be making bottom rigs tonight. So this is a rig I use a lot on the Chesapeake Bay. I use it mainly for tog and sheep's head fishing, but you can use it for croaker fishing, spot fishing, fishing around your chum pot while you're waiting to catch live bait when you're chumming for cobia. Um, we're gonna do this with 80 pound leader. By no means do you use 80 pound leader usually. Um, this is just so you can see it a little better. I usually use 30, 40 pound most uh, leader for this. So, if you can see that, can you get a good view on that? Mm -hmm. All right. So we start off, we're gonna take our hook. And these are three aught J hooks. Um, I love these Gamagatsus. This is what I use for everything pretty much. This are owners. But uh, take your hook. Run it down your line. Now you want to get it to where you would normally put your hook. I'm just going to do it dead center on this so you can see it. Do an overhand loop. Okay, one more time. Just a regular loop. Put a loop in it. Now, where those crisscross, doing this real slow so you can see it, where they cross, hold it on both sides and just twist the middle. You want to do this at least four times. I usually do it five, maybe six even. And then we're going to pull this hook through the spot in the middle that's not twisted. Now, one thing to remember is the bigger your loop, the longer your tail on your hook. So we've left a pretty good tail on this one, which I like. We're gonna take the hook, pass it right through the middle. The easiest way to do this, put it in your mouth, pull your two lines, and there you have it. We have hook facing outward. If you want it and you know more open cover, maybe bridge pilings, things like that. If you wanna tuck it in there a little better, you can angle it the other way and your hook will face inward and you can get down those rocks at the Bay Bridge Tunnel and really get, you know, with that crab getting hung up. So whichever way you want to rig this, we're going to add a weight to it. Uh, so what you're going to do is just tie an overhand loop on the end of your line. And you want to put a big loop on it, like really oversized because your weight's always got to pass through this. So he might be out there and the current starts ripping and you realize you gotta put an eight on there. If the loop's not big enough, you won't get an eight on there. So, take your loop, here's your weight. You're gonna thread it through the eye on your weight. We're not tying anything, you just pull the loop over top of the weight, and pull it back tight, and boom. You now got a rig with a weight on it. This weight can be swapped out for different weights depending on current. And when you're done, rather than beating your boat to death with a weight flying around, you can take this back off. Just easy as that right there. So if you're on your friend's boat, he'll love you for that. Um, you can do more than one hook on this rig. You can have two, you can have three, as many as you want to do on this. I usually do two. One low, one high. When, on the other end, you're just going to tie a swivel off to this. And you're good to go. You can pre-tie 20 of these if you're taking some amateur tog fishermen out there. And you never have to worry about retying these things over and over and over again. You just put a split, like a, um, a quick swivel on their main line and just clip them off to these. And as fast as you can drop them down and they lose them, you can just rig another one right back up. So that's it right there. Main line. Loop with an overhand knot. J hook on a uh, loop. Again, I would have had one here and one here if I was really using this, but I just wanted to put it in the middle to show you the, how it's rigged. And there you go, that's it. Catch anything in the bay with that for the most part. If you're bottom fishing, that kind of thing.